Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting via a kind donation to George Carlin Germs Immune System. Let's see what he has to say. It's just one more way of reducing your liberty and reminding you that they can f*** with you anytime they want. As long as you put up with it. As long as you put up with it. Which means, of course, anytime they want. Because that's what Americans do now. They're always willing to trade away a little of their freedom in exchange for the feeling, the illusion of security. What we have now is a completely neurotic population obsessed with security and safety and crime and drugs and cleanliness and hygiene and germs. There's another thing, germs. Where did this sudden fear of germs come from? in this country. Have you noticed this? The media constantly running stories about all the latest infections, salmonella, E. coli, hantavirus, bird flu, and, and Americans are, they panic easily, so now everybody's running around scrubbing this and spraying that and overcooking. Well, this aged really well. Um, this man is so educated. He's so smart. He knows so many things, and he's always touching on what's really going on in the real world and it's crazy that this is clearly at least two decades old and still very relevant today which what I've seen of George Carlin is typically that's his wheelhouse <laughs> it's like his stuff ages fairly well like fine wine are, they panic easily, so now everybody's running around scrubbing this and spraying that and overcooking their food and repeatedly washing their hands, trying to avoid all contact with germs. It's ridiculous, and it goes to ridiculous lengths. In prisons, before they give you a lethal injection, they swab your arm with alcohol. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. Well, they don't want you to get an infection. <laughs> and you can see their point. Wouldn't want some guy to go to hell and be If that is true, that is ridiculously hilarious. Like, just to think about. I mean, I guess medically you have to have the same protocol and procedures throughout, but it's like, do you know what's about to happen? <laughs> like, that's hilarious. Infection. <laughs> and you can see their point. Wouldn't want some guy to go to hell and be sick. <laughs> It would take a lot of the sportsmanship out of the whole execution. Fear of germs, why these f***ing pussies. <laughs> you can't even get a decent hamburger anymore. They cook the sh** out of everything now because everybody's afraid of food poisoning. Hey, where's your sense of adventure? Take a chance, will you? You know how many people die in this country from food poisoning every year? 9,000, that's all. It's a minor that's risk. All. <laughs> Take a f***ing chance bunch of damn pussy <laughs> besides what do you think you no but food poisoning sucks like i mean obviously it's not a mass like it's not wiping us out in a, in a crazy amount of numbers but like if i had to vote to have food poisoning or like not eat for five days i would just not eat for five days food poisoning is the it literally comes out of both ends and you can't eat like no bunch of <laughs> besides what do you think you have an immune system for it's for killing germs but it needs practice it needs germs to practice on sure. so so listen so listen if you kill all the germs around you and live a completely sterile life, then when germs do come along, you're not going to be prepared. And never mind ordinary germs. What are you going to do when some super virus comes along that turns your vital organs into liquid? <laughs> I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to get sick, you're going to die, and you're going to deserve it because you're weak and you got a weak immune system. <laughs> now, uh, oh my gosh, he's, he's going in. <laughs> you're... And you have a... <laughs> All right, George. And you got a weak immune system. <laughs> now, uh, God damn it. <laughs> hey. All right. Let me tell you a true story about immunization, okay? When I was a little boy in New York City in the 1940s, we swam in the Hudson River, and it was filled with raw sewage, okay? We swam in raw sewage. You know, That's to cool disgusting. off. 
And at that time, the big fear was polio. Thousands of kids died from polio every year. But you know something? In my neighborhood, no one ever got polio. No one ever. You know why? Because we swam in raw sewage. It strengthened our immune systems. The polio never had a prayer. We were tempered in raw... polio never had a prayer. That's disgusting. Like, ew. (laughs) He might be right, but ew. Ugh, just the thought of that. I'm not a nature girl. Like, swimming in lakes is not for me. Creeks, rivers. If the ocean is not a certain transparency, if I can't see my feet while I'm standing and looking down, I'm not in it. Like, so sewage? And our immune systems. The polio never had a prayer. We were tempered in raw sh- <laughs> So... So personally, I never take any special precautions against germs. I don't shy away from people who sneeze and cough. I don't wipe off the telephone. I don't cover the toilet seat. And if I drop food on the floor, I pick it up and eat it. I eat it. I eat it. Yes, I do. Even if I'm at a sidewalk cafe in Calcutta, <laughs> the poor section, the on New Year's morning section. during a soccer riot. And you know something, in spite of all that so-called risky behavior, I never get infections. I don't get them. I don't get colds, I don't get flu, I don't get headaches, I don't get upset stomachs. And you know why? Because I got a good, strong immune system and it gets a lot of practice. My immune system is equipped with the biological equivalent of fully automatic military assault rifles with night vision and laser scopes. And we have recently- You know, it really is people like him who like never get sick. But you know, there are certain people who just like never get sick. Never. He literally is one of those people who never gets it. You could tell. Like, he just, he's not one of us. Automatic military assault rifles with night vision and laser scopes. And we have recently acquired phosphorus grenades, cluster bombs, and anti personnel fragmentation mines. So, when what? my white blood cells are on patrol, reconnoitering my bloodstream, he's seeking so out smart. strangers and he's other so undesirables, How does if he they see this? any, any suspicious looking germs of any kind, they don't f around. They whip out. I mean, I know we learn about white blood cells and stuff in school, but I just feel like he knows, like, he can go so deep. He's not a comedian. He really isn't. He is a philosopher who happens to be funny. Like, he just is all-knowing, and he happens to be funny. Suspicious looking germs of any kind, they don't f*** around. (laughs) They whip out the weapons, they wax the motherfucker, and deposit the unlucky fellow directly into my colon. (laughs) Into my colon. There's no nonsense. There's no Miranda warning. There's none of that three strikes and you're out. First defense, bam, into the colon you go. I love how his uh, immune system has turned into like military defense. I love that. I I tell you, this is why he doesn't get sick. Like sickness also is like so attached to your mind. And if you tell your body, we are not having that, We're not having that. Like, if you are always just like, "Uh uh-uh, nope, sickness doesn't live here. I truly believe your mind and your body are connected. I believe that. And I think, like, George is one of those people. He's like, "Uh uh-uh, I don't believe in that. Uh Uh-uh, get away from me with all that. Uh -uh." (laughs) Uh-uh. And speaking of my colon... (laughs) <laughs> I want you to know I don't automatically wash my hands every time I go to the bathroom, okay? okay? Now he's tripping. Can you deal with that? Now he's tripping. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know when I wash my hands? When I sh on them. <laughs> That's the only time. That's the o- And you know how often that happens? Ow! Tops, tops, two, three times a week. Tops. <laughs> tops. Maybe a little more frequently over the holidays, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I'll tell you something else, my well-scrubbed friends. You don't always need a shower every day. Did you know that? It's overkill. Unless you work out or work out. He's so aggressive in his delivery. Um, This shower bit is about to be, like, this would be controversy today. You know, everyone's, all these celebrities talking about how they shower and how they don't and if they wash their legs. And it's like, first of all, you could keep all that to yourself. But second of all, what? (laughs) Like... This would have gone off really well nowadays. Always need a shower every day. Did you know that? It's overkill. Unless you work out or work outdoors or for some reason come in intimate contact with huge amounts of filth and garbage every day, 
You don't always need a shower. All you really need to do is to wash the four key areas. Hot spots. Armpits, ass, crotch, and teeth. The hot spots. Got that? Armpits, ass, crotch, and teeth. In fact, you can save yourself a whole lot of time if you simply use the same brush on all four areas. Thank you. Bye. I love his curtsy. That's so gross. Yes, we do know about taking bird baths and just washing the hot spots sometimes. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Like, it's okay. Um, but the same brush, sir. Um, yeah, I, just, I love his, like, stick it to him aggressive delivery. It's why he's funny because he's really not saying anything that isn't true or grounded in a lot of facts. But it's the, the way he is just like punching you with the facts that it makes it so funny. All right. You go have the day you deserve. Peace.